Hey guys, it's Major Foley here, and we are up to Crash Site Confrontation. So after the crash of Air Force One, uh, pretty much Joanna, Elvis, and the President are probably the only survivors left. Uh, Trent escaped, I think, on the alien ship at some point. Or dis well, he disappears. If you actually follow him in Air Force One, he'll shoot you. But if you wait for him to leave, he actually disappears, sort of like some other stuff. Uh, I think in Goldeneye. But, um... Anyway, our job in Perfect Agent is to retrieve the medical scanner so we can scan for his life signs, activate the distress beacon, shut down the enemy jamming device, retire the presidential clone, and locate and rescue the president. Now, here is the information if you would like to read it. There you go. Um... There is a hidden weapon here, the Proxy Mines. Um, if you go find Elvis before completing any other objective. That's really the only one, I think. Agent Doc, please report. Perfect Doc, come in. A Agent Doc, reporting in. Agent Doc, please reply. Something's jamming my transmissions. It's coming from that other craft. I'd better find the jamming device and check that Elvis is okay. Not forgetting the president, of course. Alright. So we're not going to go see Elvis to get the proxy mine. As you can see, there's the hover bike from, um... Dropping it down from the Air Force One, uh, level. So we can use it to navigate the early area. But, um, yeah, I used to go down that path where that guard was just there. I'm not going to shoot him yet. And I'd go see Elvis there. And that's how I used to do it. And that's how I'd also rescue the president back then, too. Because you could go down to the president cavern, deal with the uh, bots that were guarding him. And, um... I don't know if I got very lucky, but Trent act, um, pulls out his magnum and is supposed to shoot the president. But, um... If he takes a few pot shots at you without hitting the president, he runs. I don't know if I just got very lucky there, or if there was something wrong with my cartridge or check out. But um, a lot of people, what you normally are supposed to do is before he shoots the president, you're supposed to disarm him uh, with your melee disarm function, obviously. Um, but yeah, I used to get it done, luckily. Maybe um, if I do like a final video or something, I'll show it off. If I can get it done anyway. Um, I'm not sure if it does that on the XBLA version. This was on the N64 version I did a long time ago. Um, when I was a kid. So I can probably get it working on that. Because <laughs> he'll probably react the same. I'm not sure if they change anything with uh, XBLA in regards to that. Alright. So, I did remember... Have, uh, I don't know if I neglected to mention it or not. Uh, these guys are all wielding K7s and snipers. So they're all extremely dangerous. So, one burst fire, especially up close, is going to kill you. So, be very careful. Check your six and all that. I'm going to abandon the hover bike here. I don't really want to take it with me where I'm going. Especially since this area is going to be pretty dangerous. So, we can get a snipe on him. Not quite a kill, but we hit him. Okay, relax, buddy. All right, and here they come out of the woodwork. Missed. Whoa, since when do you fire at that range? I'll right, we'll bring out the Falcon 2 again. Um, again, watch our backs to see if they come from this direction. I remember when I first did this on Perfect Agent, I got so lost. Like, uh, I don't think I did Perfect Agent until I was, like, in my early teens. But, um, yeah, I remember getting lost a lot on this. I better deal with him. Oh, well, he's gonna come find me now. Anyway, we're gonna bring out the K7. We're gonna switch to the Threat Detector. So, yeah, we lose the Muzzle Flash, but it's gonna be very important because we'll be running into turrets and the ship. The ship for some reason comes up as a threat detector. I don't know. Now, probably one useful thing that you could get the mines for. I think you could use them for this, but I'm pretty sure there's a few guards here too. K7 
take out the auto guns. Auto guns go first. Come on, wave. Come on, out of your body so I can shoot. There we go. The camera, it's coming from that ship. I'm sure there are guards, so I don't really want to first fire on my own. Let's keep shooting. Sworn I heard footsteps, I think it was just mine. There we go, objective three done. Oh! Knew I was hearing footsteps! <laughs> Alright, so with that threat out of the way, we come down here. I did forgot to activate the presidential scanner, which shows us the clone and the president's location. Down here. Alright, so it's about to get dark, and this is where you know you're getting close to the clone. Turn on our night vision. And we're gonna try to burst him before he runs away, because he will try to run. Alright, that's it. Now we're gonna wait for the enemies to come to us. Oh, okay, cheating. I call cheats. Uh oh, another guard in front of us. Hello, blonde guys. And being able to fire in single shots when you're aiming down. Very good for burst fire weapons. Alright. Alright, buddy. So you wanted to join your friends. Alright, turn on the night vision again. Of course, we got like that binoculars from the airbase mission too, but I mean, there's not really much use for it. Alright, so now there should be an exit to the cave system around there. Yep. Just making sure the area is clear before we go up it, because the last thing we want is a K7 to our back killing us. Night vision. We're gonna wait for the bots to come to us too. Yep, there they are. I think we're on the wrong cave floor. I need to move it somewhere else. So I don't think they'll come down the tunnels. I'm pretty sure they're too close to the president. Oh. They're actually coming down. What do you know? Come on, while. The other one. It's two or three. There they are. Here they come. Come on, guys. Let's not keep me waiting. Oh, well, they just killed each other. Alright, switch to unarmed. And melee trends before he shoots. So yeah, I came across a close one for some reason. But um, the old pathway I used to, I'd actually come from this direction, and I could get him to shoot me up here and not hit the president somehow. So I don't know. And I get the bots to come up here and shoot them from here. So this is the one rare time in the campaign you can actually get the golden magnum. So the one shot kill on everything essentially. I think golden gun with six bullets, and a slower firing rate than the standard magnum. I don't know, we can't hurt the president. Come over here. As you can see, I couldn't fire fast enough for the next shot. You're fine. You're not dying. <laughs> Look like you're walking normal, so... But yeah, this golden gun too, if you got it, could actually one-shot the jammer, I believe. But there's Elvis, and Elvis will shoot the guards quite effectively, but... <laughs> Bam! Love hearing this revolver. And that's it. We completed the level. Better now, young lady. How are you feeling, Mr. President? Better now, young lady. Today, I think it will take a while for me to get over. I can't believe Easton would do such a thing. I knew he was ambitious, yes, but this... Just one thing, sir. What is the Pelagic II that Trent wanted so badly? It's a U.S. government deep-sea research vessel, one of a kind. The only ship that can conduct a full-scale diving operation at extreme depth. Trent wanted me to loan it to the Datadyne Corporation, but I refused. 
Trent has a lot to answer for, but I don't think we'll find him now. More than one way, Joanna. More than one way. You have failed, Easton. You are a flawed device, and we need you no longer. Just try it, you Scandinavian freak! Surprise! So, those are the enemies we are actually fighting and who Datadyne is working with. So, and what um, the Mayans have essentially been fighting for. So, that's it. Uh, join me next time for the Pelagic 2, a level I like quite a bit, um, depending on how you feel. Sometimes it can be a little painful. But until then, I'll catch you guys next time.